welcome to Anessa Yoga. Today's class is a yin class specifically for the back. We'll be holding all of the poses for three minutes and the class should go for around 24 minutes today. For one of the poses you will need a block. If you don't have a block then you can get a book to around about this size. Keep it handy and close by the mat. Let's get started. The first pose today is Sphinx Pose. So let's come flat down on our tummies onto the mat. Wiggle the hips into the mat. Feet flat out behind you. If you grab each of your elbows, this will make it your shoulder width apart. Take the wrists out in front of you and bring the elbows just a little bit closer to the body. You should feel a bit of a strain at the bottom of the back, nothing too painful. This will go during the course of the three minutes. Let's start those three minutes now. Shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the ground. And start those deep inhales. Inhale to the count of five and exhale to the count of seven. Continue in your own breath and with your own counting. Slowly bring the palms of the hands on top of each other and rest your forehead on the palms. Let's take a couple of deep breaths into that back. Now let's slide the palms of the hands underneath the shoulders and slowly bring yourself up. Let's bring the knees mat width apart, feet touching at the back 
and let's go back into child's pose. Find that place on the mat for your forehead that's comfortable. Hands out in front of you. And let's start the three minutes here. Continue with those deep breaths. Feel the inhale coming into the shoulders and into the back. This really is one of the most comfortable poses. If you are ever stressed out, you can come and sit in this position for three minutes. Keep breathing. Slowly slide the palms of the hands towards the knees and gently lift yourself up. Just come up into a seated position. And this is where you will need your block. Let's come down lying flat on the back. Feet flat on the mat and bring them close in towards your glutes. Your knees hip width apart. We're going to slowly lift up the hips and put the side of the block on the bottom of our sacrum. So not on the back, not on the spine, on that lower hardest part of your body. Again, you will feel some tension here, but that's okay. Hands out to the side, palms facing up, shoulders relaxed. Nice, deep breaths. Keep counting those breaths. And we count the breaths for two reasons. One, so we don't fall asleep. And two, so that we're concentrating on counting 
instead of concentrating on other things that may come into your mind. So count in your own time and to your own breath. Ground those feet firmly into the mat. Lift the hips just enough to release the block to the side. Release the hips back down to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Take your arms out to the side. And take both knees down to the left side. Head goes over to the right. Let's start our three minutes here. Shoulders relaxed into the mat.
bring your head back up to center. Use your left hand to bring your knees back up to center. Bring your knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. Just take the arms out to the side again. Knees go down to the right side. And head goes over to the left. Relax those shoulders. Let's start those three minutes now. And keep breathing. Bring the head back up to center. Use your right arm to bring the knees back up to center. And again, bring your knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. And let's come up into a seated position in the middle of the mat. Legs crossed or however is comfortable with you. Relax the shoulders. Place the hands where is comfortable for you. And let's sit here for three minutes. Again, focus on the breathing. Deep inhales, deep exhales.
gently open up the eyes. I hope you enjoyed the class and thank you for joining me today. Mm -hmm.